People with arachnophobia or insect phobia beware, this video contains photos of insects and spiders. Number 15. Brown Recluse Spider Barely the size of a penny but still something out of a nightmare, the brown recluse spider inhabits the southern and central United States. From central Texas to southern Iowa, they are distinctive from other small spiders by the length of their legs, which stretch to near ridiculous limits. Brown recluses live up to their name and prefer dark, secluded spaces, which means many are found in the basements or garages of homes. This means they commonly and unexpectedly come into contact with humans. The brown recluse does contain a hemotoxic venom, meaning it destroys red blood cells and disrupts the blood from clotting. It also means it can cause organ degeneration generation and tissue damage. While humans are too big to cause severe consequences of the spider's venom, there have been several cases of major reactions. Most humans only suffer from pain and a rash around the bite area, and most do not feel the initial bite, instead feel the pain a time later. However, there have been cases of the hemotoxin causing neurosis around the affected area, which requires surgery and in extreme cases amputation. While there have been no deaths linked with a brown recluse bite, you can still deal with neurosis and gangrene, both of which have the potential to kill something. The brown recluse is a small but terrifying arachnid, but luckily they prefer to stay as far away from humans as possible. Number 14. Cassowary a flightless but aggressive bird, the cassowary is indigenous to the island of New Guinea in northern Australia. They are similar to the ostrich but smaller in height and size. Cassowaries are majestic looking with blue skin on the face and shiny black feathers around its body. They are solitary animals and will only mingle during mating season and when raising young. While their food mostly consists of fruits, flowers, and other plants, Cassowaries also consume insects, frogs, birds, fish, mice, and carrion. Cassowaries are also highly respected in New Guinean society, and the tribes will only capture cassowary chicks and raise them to be used as livestock and gifts during ceremonial exchanges. Cassowaries have also gained the reputation of being dangerous, and Allied soldiers during the Second World War were warned by locals to steer clear from the birds. Attacks are common and hundreds of attacks on humans occur each year. However, only one fatality has ever been recorded as a result of a cassowary attack. Cassowaries have sharp talons and can inflict serious damage on skin, leading to bleeding and even chunks of skin being ripped away. They may be birds and they may look majestic and non-threatening, but it's best to take the locals of New Guinea seriously and keep your distance should you not want to end up seriously hurt. Number 13. Bull Shark A truly unique entry, the bull shark is an anomaly, as it is able to inhabit both salt and fresh water. Because of this, bull sharks known to commonly interact with humans, as they also live in shallow waters and no tolerance to provocation. Even the slightest movement their way will be perceived as a threat and they will attack. Bull sharks have been speculated to be the culprit in several attacks worldwide, most famously the Jersey Shore attacks of 19. 16. For 12 days in July, the Jersey Shore was terrorized by several fatal shark attacks, which even occurred upstream of the Matawan Creek. In total, five people were attacked with four fatalities. The shark was never caught, but it is believed to be caused by one, and its identity is believed to be a bull shark by experts. Due to their aggressiveness and location of the attacks, Sydney is also a haven for attacks by bull sharks, with swimmers occasionally getting bit by them. The last recorded death by a bull shark in the United States as of this video's upload occurred on February 3, 2010 in Stewart Beach, Florida. 38-year-old Stephen Howard Schaffer was kite surfing 500 yards offshore when he was attacked and killed by possible multiple sharks as emergency responders reported several sharks swimming around their boat when they arrived. So take caution when swimming in the oceans and rivers near the coast, as there may be a dark lingering danger below your feet. Number 12. Sea Wasp Box Jellyfish With the nickname the Sea Wasp, it's evident this animal will not be pleasant to encounter. The box jellyfish is a species living off the northern coast of Australia and around various islands of Indonesia and Papua New Guinea. Most box jellyfish stings inflict only mild pain which recedes within a short time and skin irritation that goes away naturally within a few days. But the sea wasp is the most venomous of the box jellyfish. Its sting has proven to be extremely painful and even fatal to humans. Those who have come into contact with the creature have reported the most severe pain they have ever felt 
and there is not much relief for it. One report of an Australian man who was stung was injected with morphine on the way to the hospital, and despite this plus being administered anti-venom and slipping in and out of consciousness, he continued to scream in agony for hours following the incident. What causes the pain is the sea wasps' tentacles shoot out barbs, which pierce their prey's muscles, bloodstream, and nerves. Fatalities of the sting is due to either cardiac arrest or drowning, since the swimmer cannot make it back to shore due to the pain. Even more frightening is the sea wasp is virtually invisible in the water due to its transparent skin, meaning one might not even see the creature that stung them. An anti-venom has been produced and is made available to lifeguards on beaches, and since then fatalities have dropped dramatically. Number 11. Bullet Ant Ants are generally an unpleasant insect to deal with, and are more annoying to North Americans as they usually end up on the floors of homes or in some cases swarming and causing a terrible sting. However, in Central and Southern American jungles crawls a species of ants that certainly cause more than a simple nuisance. The bullet ant is a rather large species and is found commonly in Nicaragua, Honduras, and as far south as Paraguay. While still small compared to humans and other large animals, the bullet ant makes up for its size with its powerful sting. The sting of a bullet ant is considered one of the most painful stings known to humans, and the pain has been described as the equivalent to being shot by a bullet. The sensation lasts hours without subsiding, and since bullet ants swarm their victims, it is not uncommon for people to have been stung hundreds of times over. The Satire Mawe people of Brazil use the sting as a rite of passage for their tribal youth. In the ceremony, the tribe will bound several bullet ants into a glove, with their stingers facing inwards, which the participants will wear for 10 minutes at a time. Once they complete the ritual, they are considered men. Tourists and scientists have participated in the ritual, and have experienced excruciating pain for up to 24 hours after, with many needing medical attention and injections of morphine to quell the pain and prevent major complications to the heart and bloodstream. All travelers to the jungles of Central and South America be wary of the small black beasts and do not take them lightly. Number 10. CC Fly Not many people are fond of flies in general, and this entry will make them even less likable. The CC Fly is native to Central and South Central Africa, mostly in humid jungle climates. While not much bigger than the common house fly, CC Flies feed off the blood of animals, and their bite is said to be extremely painful. The danger of the bite lies in the parasitic disease the fly carries known as sleeping sickness. Three weeks following the bite, people can begin to show symptoms of headaches, fever, joint pains, and itchiness. Then, as the parasite matures, people will begin to feel confused, suffer insomnia, and numbness. If it goes untreated, the disease is fatal, and it has been the cause of up to 9,000 fatalities every year throughout Africa, mostly due to the lack of proper medical facilities and equipment. The international community has begun a program of pesticides and medical aid to African countries populated with the CC flies in order to control the insect's population and properly treat and cure those suffering from sleeping sickness. Although a very unpleasant disease, sleeping sickness is curable and the number of fatalities is dropping dramatically thanks to the efforts of the Red Cross and various non-government organizations. Number 9. Hippo If you ever wanted a hippopotamus for Christmas, you might want to reconsider. Hippos are a large mammal once thriving throughout most of Africa, but has been hunted down to only a few small locations spread around the continent. Hippos have a truly bizarre appearance with leather-looking skin and massive mouths. Because of their cartoony look, hippos have become a favorite of children and adults alike, and have been made into characters for popular films such as Fantasia and Madagascar, and Canadians will remember the famous North American house hippo commercials of the late 90s and early 2000s. However, hippos are not an animal to underestimate. Hippos are aggressive and very territorial, and have been known to charge and attack humans who come too close. As unbelievable as it sounds, hippos kill up to 2,900 people every year, making them the most dangerous animal in Africa. One notorious even occurred in Niger, when a boat was capsized by a hippo hippo, resulting in 13 fatalities. Farmers also come into danger of hippos as they tend to raid crops for food, and farmers attempt to scare them away. On a side note, drug lord Pablo Escobar imported several animals to his private zoo in Colombia, and after his death, many of the animals escaped, 
including several hippos. Because of this, there is now a population of hippos residing freely in the Colombian countryside. Number 8. Piranha A lurking beast beneath the Amazon River, the piranha is a fish species like no other. While no bigger than the average fish, piranhas have razor sharp teeth and a taste for the flesh of large animals. Attacks are common and the city of Palmas, Brazil had 190 reported attacks in the first half of 2007 alone. Fatalities also occur, mostly due to blood loss and shock. Piranhas literally strip the flesh off their prey to the bone. In February 2015, a six-year-old girl was out boating with her grandmother when the boat capsized. She was eaten alive by the piranhas and did not survive. Studies of piranha behavior have shown attacks on humans occur mostly during the dry season because food is scarce during that time. While there are plenty of large mammals and other river animals to feast on in the wet season, they also found splashing attracts piranhas to their prey, which is why children are more likely to be attacked than adults. Because of their viciousness, the piranha has gained a legendary reputation, with rumors they and have stripped entire humans of their flesh, leaving only bones. All the stories recording such instances are unconfirmed though, and recent incidents have seen the piranhas tend to focus on a specific location on the body. Piranhas have made their way into cinema, notably in the 1970 B-movie Piranha and the remake in 2010 and 2012, although their portrayal is a largely exaggerated version of their true selves. Number 7. Leatherback Turtle The largest of all turtles, the leatherback is unique in that it does not have the regular bony shell turtles usually have. Instead, it is protected by thick and oily skin resembling a thick leather, hence its name. Leatherbacks live in the open ocean and have been observed traveling between the Indonesian province of West Papua and the west coast of the United States, a 20,000 kilometer journey. They have been also known to chase their prey as deep as a thousand meters, which far surpasses the physical limits of many other marine wildlife, including certain whales. The primary prey of the leatherback are jellyfish, which helps to control the global jellyfish population and decrease the amount of interaction between jellyfish and humans. Their entry on this list is due to their teeth, which resemble hundreds of pointed needles which line the entire esophagus. Should anyone manage to get their arm chomped down on by one of these things, they will certainly be in all sorts of pain and full of deep puncture wounds. However, this has been proven to be a rare occurrence, and countless organizations are making efforts to conserve the leatherbacks, as they have become vulnerable to endangerment due to climate change and fishing. Leatherbacks are also an important symbol for many cultures, most notably the Seri people of Mexico. The Seri consider the leatherback as one of their five creators, and have become active in their conservation so as not to lose an important species of their culture. Number 6. Africanized Honeybee A hybrid of the African and European bees, the Africanized honeybee has been given the common and appropriate nickname of killer bee. The reason behind this is the insect's extreme aggression towards intruders of their territory. Their creation was a result of interbreeding of the European honeybee and the African honeybee by biologists. While working with the bees in South America, they were accidentally released, and since then they've managed to make their way up to the southern United States by 1985. Nests have been found in old sheds, cars, and even homes. However, their migration has been halted due to the climate being unsuitable the further north they've traveled. It seems they will not make their way across the continental United States. Most deaths from killer bee attacks are a result of the amount of venom someone is subjected to during the course of the attack, leading to cardiac arrest or shock. The government has begun an effort to prevent the further spread of killer bee territory and have even started a campaign of eradication of the insects entirely, mostly due to their artificial beginnings leading to no consequences upon their extinction. However, if one is wandering alone in the woods and hears the loud buzz of a swarm, turn back the other way and leave. You don't want to be swarmed by the killer bees. Number 5. Stonefish Literally an invisible danger, the stonefish is native to the tropical regions of the Indian and Pacific Oceans. They are masters of camouflage and receive their name due to their uncanny resemblance to the surrounding rocks and coral they inhabit. Stonefish are only predatory to small fish, shrimp, and other crustaceans, but contain a powerful venom which is both painful and potentially fatal. Since stonefish are extremely hard to spot, swimmers and divers have accidentally swam too close to or stepped on them, causing the fish to feel threatened and defend themselves. There have been many deaths as a result of the stonefish stings, but since the creation of an anti-venom, fatalities have decreased in number.
numbers, but do continue to happen. In 2010, a diver died after being stung off the coast of Okinawa and was unable to reach a hospital in time. Tourists are urged to take extra precautions and be vigilant while exploring the coral areas on coastal beaches and to stay near areas where medical attention can be easily accessed. Number 4. Leopard Seal When the word seal is mentioned, people either assume special forces or a cute marine mammal with beady eyes. Leopard seals are native to Antarctica, with their habitat encompassing the entire coastline of the continent. They are distinctive by their dark fur with white bellies covered in spots. They are the second most predatory animal in the Antarctic below the orca, feeding on a variety of the wildlife, particularly penguins. Leopard seals are known to be quite aggressive and are responsible for a number of unprovoked attacks on humans. Their sharp teeth can cause significant damage to a human's limbs and skin, while most attacks occurred only in injury. That all changed in 2003. British biologist Christy Brown was snorkeling in the frigid sea when a leopard seal dragged her down 200 feet, where she drowned. This was the first known fatality as a result of a leopard seal attack, and a reminder not to take these animals lightly. Recently, leopard seals have become more common knowledge and one was even the antagonist of the film Happy Feet. Number 3. Saltwater Crocodile Large and menacing looking, this is a reptile no one wants to provoke. Saltwater crocodiles are native to the Australasian coast, extending from northeastern India, Sri Lanka, Indonesia, and even as far south as northern Australia. Saltwater crocodiles have the most powerful force ever recorded in an animal and can inflict serious damage on their prey. When they catch dinner, they rip it to shreds by combining their powerful bite and various movements meant to tear off large chunks of meat. This results in a large amount of blood pouring out into the water and creating a disturbing scene of carnage and gore. Saltwater crocodiles have the greatest tendency to treat humans as prey, and there have been countless fatal attacks throughout history. Between 1971 and 2013, Australian authorities reported 106 fatal attacks by saltwater crocodiles, and another study estimated there are as many as 20 to 30 attacks a year. While the claim of the saltwater crocodile killing up to a thousand humans a year is greatly exaggerated, this doesn't undermine their lethality, and swimmers are urged to take caution and not to swim in waters unmarked or with warning signs posted. The deadliest attack by saltwater crocodiles occurred during the Second World War on Ramire Island. Japanese forces were retreating and as many as 400 were killed by the crocodiles living in the vast swampland. If there is ever a candidate for a horror movie villain, the saltwater crocodile should certainly take the number one spot. Number two, Black Mamba. With the name sounding more like a dance or music genre, it will surprise people to know this is a truly deadly predator. The Black Mamba is a snake living from the African interior to the Horn of Africa, and with habitat in Mozambique, Zambia, Zimbabwe, and Nambia. The snake is a greenish gray color, and the inside of its mouth is almost completely black, hence its name. Black Mamba's behavior is unpredictable and are also very agile in their movements. They are also introverted and will actively seek refuge away from humans unless cornered. Their venom is extremely powerful and will cause a full grown adult to collapse within 45 minutes of a bite, and death within 7 to 15 hours if anti venom is not administered. It has gained the reputation of the most dangerous snake in Africa, as well as the most feared. Thankfully, rarely are humans attacked because of this snake's seclusive behavior. Of the 900 fatal snake bites between 1957 and 1960, only 7 were from a black mamba bite. Fatalities are also rare due to anti-venom being produced and proven to be effective. In 2013, American photographer Mark Latia was bitten by a black mamba during a photo shoot, which ruptured the artery in his calf. Despite the lethality of the venom, Latia did not seek medical attention and managed to recover without anti-venom. This is a rare occurrence though, and it is recommended anyone who is bitten immediately seek medical attention, should they not wish to become the Black Mamba's next victim. Number 1. Poison Dart Frog Small and beautiful, but one touch can be deadly. Poison Dart Frogs are very small, measuring around 2 inches, but are also brightly colored, with the color depending on the species. They have been recorded to be mostly blue and yellow, and sometimes a greenish color and even orange. Poison Dart Frogs live throughout Central America and the northern end of South America, particularly the Amazon jungle. Much like their name suggests, the frogs are highly toxic and the toxin is released through their skin. It is a defense mechanism against predators and not used for offensive purposes. The most dangerous of the poison dart frog is the golden poison frog, with one dose having enough toxin to kill between 10 and 20 people.
people or 15,000 humans per gram. Only one predator is able to eat these frogs, the Leophis snake, as it has a high resistance to the toxin. Native tribes of the jungles took advantage of the frog's toxin and would capture them in order to rub them against spears and darts, which is how the frogs got their name. While they may be beautiful and even cute, people must resist the urge to touch them because it can cause humans to become seriously ill and even prove fatal. Thanks for checking out this countdown. Be sure to subscribe as we upload new videos every week. It'd really mean a lot if you join the notification squad by clicking this gear button, checking this box, and then clicking save. See ya.